What's up everybody, Justin with AmericanMuscle.com. We're back here at MIR here in Maryland with our Bama Tune 2015 GT chasing down that nine second time slip. Now guys, if you've been following this car, then chances are you've probably seen it recently go 10.6 at 123 all motor, followed by a 10.2 at 128 on a 150 shot. Uh, but we're not happy, right? We're going for nines and that's what we're here today. Now we're here with Paul from Bama Performance as well as Mike J from the Bama team. And these guys have been doing a heck of a job with the car, but quick rundown on the car guys, basic bolt-ons, JLT cold air intake, long tube headers, mid pipe exhaust, of course. Our friends over at the drive shaft shop hooked us up with a nice drive shaft along with their level five half shafts. Uh, pretty basic suspension stuff going on there. We have rubber bushings, some adjustable shocks in the rear, Cobra Jet Springs. And uh, other than that, of course, that Bama tune with this guy here next to me we'll talk about in a minute. We've done a lot of work to this car as far as making it lighter, right, Paul? So why don't we tell these guys at home what this thing's weighing in at? Uh, we recently weighed the car after taking out some more weight and it uh, comes in at 3,450 pounds with driver and a quarter tank of gas. So Paul, today the car has the Boss Manifold back on it. We explained to these guys in a recent video why we switched back to the stock manifold, but why are we back here revisiting the Boss? So exactly what we experienced. The stock intake works very well naturally aspirated, but we said that we were running into some nitrous issues. After getting the car back on the dyno when we were working on our tune, we discovered that we were having some nitrous distribution issues with the factory intake. So we decided to put the Boss intake manifold back on and it seems to have cured our problems and we're going to find out when we take it down the track. Yeah, absolutely, 100%. Now, as far as the tune is concerned, what kind of gas are we using here today? You know, we really want to take this car as fast as we possibly can. When we went 1060s, we had uh, E85 in it. Uh, but we've seen some great results with FTW Purple, so we decided to put some FTW Purple in the car, and we picked up about 10 to 15 wheel horsepower after adjusting our custom tune for it. There you go. This thing's pretty much maxed out horsepower-wise for now. I mean, we've done all of our homework. You guys have done a great job. We've got a great driver, of course. So now, it's the moment of truth, man. Let's get this thing in the line and see if the nines are in the air. Hot damn. All right, Paul, man. Awesome day, brother. Yeah. We went 991, 135. I mean, we solved our nitrous problems, but that's a hell of a dip going from a 10-2 at 128 to a 9-9 at 135. We picked up a lot of mile an hour. Tell these guys at home how we, how we did that. You know, after our last track outing at Cecil, uh, when we went to 10-20s, uh, we decided to get the car back onto the dyno. Uh, we ch did change the fuel. Um, and we just really focused on getting every last horsepower out of this thing when we were doing our tune on it. Absolutely, and the Boss Manifold seemed to solve our nitrous issues, right? It did, yeah. You know, after looking at all the data logs on the dyno um, and then backing it up with what we saw on the track, uh, all the distribution issues um, are definitely solved. I know this guy's on top of the world. I know I am too. It's been a hell of a day here, but we always tell you guys to subscribe to our YouTube channel, right? Well, this is why you should do it, because you get to see awesome stuff happening, cars going nine seconds, and this thing, I guarantee you, will be back bigger and badder. Yeah. So in the meantime, guys, stay tuned, and for all things Mustang, keep it right here at AmericanMuscle.com.